So today guys, I bring you 5 things to farm for that easy money pulse patch 1.1. So let's go. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and to give back to you guys, I'm giving away 10,000 marks of fortune. To be in with a chance of winning them, simply make sure you are subbed to this channel and have those notifications turned on. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so since the latest patch, the 1.1 patch, many instances of the game have changed. Trading prices on certain items have gone crazy, while other prices have dropped. And today guys, I bring you 5 things you can easily farm which will see you earning good money. Money. And this is something more or less anybody can do, but it's made so more for the people who struggle making that gold coin. Now each one of these items today I am showcasing, I will state you can easily earn between 1 and 2k gold coins using these methods, so let's get into it. So firstly guys, this is an item I did mention to people that they should have farmed and brought for those pennies in prep for the 1.1 update because once that hits, this is an item that's going to be needed for many many more things and its price will go up. And it did. The 1.1 patch is now here and the price of high sup has definitely gone much much more expensive and rightly so. It easily sells on my server between a 0.30 and a 0.80. It just fluctuates throughout the day. And this is a server that is seriously populated. Now before going into any guide guys, like I say, from any guide you see from me or anyone else, make sure you check prices on your server. If it isn't worth it, obviously don't waste your time doing them. Now high stock comes from herbs. Herbs can be found anywhere on the map but certain areas will offer you even more profit due to there being additional herbs tied to high sop. For instance, as you can see on screen now, different areas drop different kinds of herbs as well as the high sop. So it's probably best to check your server of prices on these additional herbs before making your mind up where to farm. But you can see some great spots on screen now which I spoke about in a previous video, so check that out. As you can see on the screen now, uh, our locations, in my opinion, the best locations for farming those herbs. Firstly, Monarch's Bluff. This area here in Monarch's Bluff is full of herb. Head here, rotate around this area and you'll find a ton of them. Next up, first light. This area right here is incredible for herbs and I rarely see anybody else here. Next up guys is a great spot in Everfall, I've used this so so often and again I barely see anybody here. And lastly guys is a spot in Ebon Scale Reach which is by far the best spot for those herb plants. I mean, there is absolutely tons here, as you can see on screen now. All these little markers are herb plants. The only problem with this place is though, Time and Ginger, well on my server at least, don't sell for much money. But if you're only interested in that high sap, there's no better place on the map. So yeah guys, go get that high sap and make that money. Okay, so next up people, we have oil. Oil always will be a great seller in my opinion. Well, that is unless Amazon make it useless like a couple of other things they have done. Yeah, but oil people cannot get enough of. And with buy orders everywhere, use this opportunity to make that money, people. Now, using this spot in with this fen, there's just an unlimited supply of that oil via those seeping rocks. Now, oil on my server always sells, but at different times of the day, prices go up. So don't be afraid to list it between a 0.50 and a 0.80 it will definitely sell for sure but yeah guys use this spot within weaver's fen to farm those cp rocks for that oil this area is absolutely littered and i mean littered with those cp rocks okay so next up guys we have malts life death earth fire soul you name it they're here now these sell for absolutely ridiculous money now within the 1.1 patch, Amazon changed up how you could earn these by adding them to the loot pool of those mystic wolves, bears and stags, but they quickly eliminated that via disabling the possibility to farm them. Now as a result, it seems as though malts have gone back up in price 
with individual types selling for like 0.80 each and considering some of the routes to farm you'll be earning upwards of a thousand of these in a little over an hour you can seriously make some dash out of these people problem is there's a good chance that when you run these routes for these not all will be there the best thing you can do is use the new world map website which i'll link down below search for those certain malts and where they come from and then run your own route but obviously make sure prices on your server are decent enough first so next up guys the bull rush cubs these for some reason are selling for decent money considering how easy they are to farm as well and the plants that these come from are on a one minute timer you can farm thousands of these in no time at all so with this all you really need to do is more or less find any water source on the map and around it will be tons of bulrush plants simply farm away and you will start seeing those bulrush cobs drop literally farm any spot for a minute and within that time the plants will have already respawned back in which is crazy you will get tons of reeds too these on my server don't bring in tons of money but will sell at the same time also near those water sources are briar branches these two will drop those briar buds which can bring you in good money also guys so yes more or less head to any water source i like the one this one you'll see on screen now right by everfall i mean if you run one route around this by the time you've run around it everything's respawned you can just keep doing this for as long as you want so yep yeah, any water source guys farm these and make that money and lastly today guys we have salt salt still sells for crazy crazy money and that's because it drops from one source and that isn't a guarantee that source is provisions crates mainly provisions crates within everfall and brightwood are where these are at now i made a route a video you could follow about two weeks back where you'd earn between 35 and 60 salt per run i've not long uploaded an updated video where we run around brightwood and everfall and you get my mate did it with me the other day and he got 115 of this salt per run takes you about 45 minutes to an hour to run it by the time you run it you can just because the crates reset you can run it again so you can do this route for hour upon end and you will earn tons and tons of salt guys so the route you are seeing me take on screen now is just a snippet of the full video which you'll find i'll link it in the video description but you'll also find it on my channel too so check it out like i said it takes you roughly 40 minutes to run probably when you first do it probably 45 50 minutes but by the time you've run it once you can more or less reset it because the chest reset after an hour run it again and unlimited salt people but yeah the full video because it is quite lengthy i run the whole route is on my channel and i'll link it in the video description but it is absolutely easy money you haven't got to worry about anybody else picking these up they're always going to be there for you so salt is definitely the best money earner in my opinion so go get it and sell it guys and there we have it people five amazing things to farm and sell after the latest 1.1 patch within new world yes i know some people watching this video uh this to those end 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 game players won't seem that great but for players out there struggling to make that gold who think making 1 to 2k gold per hour is decent these are definitely for you and that's what basically most of my guys are i try and put guys out there which uh, represent the whole of the community for where everyone can make money using these and not just like the top 10 percent but yes guys the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more new world be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one.